Good morning, Aviators fans. We are back with another interview. We are going to be joined today by Mr. Will McGee. We're just gonna wait for him to join. I am coming to you from Houston, Texas, where I am usually with the Houston Sabercats, but I have been blessed to join the Ohio Aviators in Bermuda. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. We're gonna have Will McGee on in just a few seconds. Just gonna wait for him to join. There we go. Good morning, Will. Hey, Katie, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. It's good to be on. Yeah. I heard you're in New Hampshire. Yeah, up in New yeah. Hampshire. Social distancing and staying away from the world. It's quite nice. You didn't like the Texas heat? Uh, no, I did enjoy it, obviously. <laughs> um, but just, uh, yeah, managed to get home, which is quite nice. Because obviously, we, uh, being rugby players and that, we don't always get to have an extended period at home. So it's, it's been nice to uh, spend some time with the family. Right. I would definitely understand. Um, so you have played for the USA Eagles and you're currently with the Austin Go Gronies as a fly half. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, down in, uh, back, back in MLR down in Austin. Yep. Um, and then where did you grow up? Uh, so I grew up in London. Uh, so I was born in, in, in England to American parents. Um, and then lived over there, went to school over there, college over there, and then, um, moved back. Uh, to the well moved back moved to the US um, for pro rugby um, so but not for the aviators unfortunately at the time <laughs> so did you play uh, back home too yeah I was playing in England um, but just um, for a club called Ealing who are in the championship and, and at college and stuff like that so and then most recently uh, I was playing for London Scottish um, back at the end of 2019 again in the championship how old were you when you started playing? I was four. Oh, so got no. a bit of experience under the belt. Yeah. Um, and then how long have you been with the Austin Go Gronies? Uh, so I joined the Go Gronies back in March. Um, one game wonder. Um, we managed to overcome your Houston Sabercats. Oh, I, I was heartbroken. <laughs> I was yeah. heartbroken for that game. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we managed to get the win. And then obviously everything hit with COVID and... Um, and yeah, it's just been uh, a lot of training since then. Yeah. How do you like Texas compared to England? It's definitely different. Um, it's definitely warmer, um, a lot more outdoorsy. Well, just more outdoorsy for a longer period of time, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, the time I've been there so far has been a bit um, marred by everything going on in the world. Um, but we have managed to sort of get out and do some exploring and um, some camping and fishing and hiking and sort of stuff like that, which is obviously a bit safer than the usual of downtown bars, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, it's been it's been a good introduction, but I'm looking forward to getting to see what Austin has to offer as, when it's everything's back to normal. I know. And it looks like the MLR season is going to be right in the middle of our, our hot season here in Texas. So uh, be, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, it should be interesting. All right. Um, what interested you in playing for the Aviators for the World Tens? Um, so had a conversation with a good friend, Dylan Fawcett, about it. Um, and they, they kind of were looking for a few um, few players to bolster the squad. Um, obviously, they wanted as many of the original boys as possible. And then just chatting with Taylor Howden and, um, and Tom Rooney um, sounded like an amazing opportunity just to get to play some, some competitive rugby because it's been such a long time. Um, and a pretty cool trip to go to Bermuda and, and hopefully have a bit of fun as well with a great group of guys. So it was a no-brainer when it all came together. I know, for me too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what have you been doing to prepare for the World Tens? Uh, I've been training up here, uh, up in New Hampshire. Um, just joined a local gym. They've been obviously keeping with all the CDC guidelines and stuff like that. Um, and then I've been out... Um, training and coaching with a, a local college team here, which has been really cool, Keene State, um, great group of guys, and just allowed me to sort of help them, help out them a bit with coaching, but also get a rugby ball in my hands and, and some mm -hmm. meters in the legs and stuff like that. So um, definitely gonna have to get some of the rust off, but it's I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. 
Um, is there anyone you're excited to play with on the Aviators? Uh, a lot of the guys. Um, I probably, I'm, I'm excited to play with um, Chris Bowman again. Um, so Bowie and I were, were on the, the Denver team that played against Ohio a couple of times in pro rugby. So I'm sure we'll be, um, I'm sure we'll be punished accordingly at some stage during the tour for that. Um, but no, Bowie's a great man. Been fortunate enough to play with him for, um, for the, for the Denver side, as well as the U S a few times. And, and he's out in Austin flying his trade down with the blacks. So no, it'd be great to play with Bowie again. Great. Um, is there anyone you're excited to play against on some of the other teams that we're going to be playing? Uh, some of these, well, I'm excited to play against them, but I'm, I'm also a bit apprehensive. Some of the sevens boys that are coming out of the woodwork. Um, so it sounds like the London team is going to have quite a few of the England sevens boys. Um, I've seen them training firsthand because when I was over at London Scottish, we set, shared a facility with the England sevens and oh. yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, and yeah, and also the SX tens team sounds like they're going to have quite a few of the, uh, South Africa sevens and Kenyan sevens lads. So It'd be kind of cool from going to watching those guys on the series to to uh, to uh, get to to get to play against them. So. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. All right. Well, since we're going to be in Bermuda, um, what are three things uh, you can't leave home without? Since we're going to be on an island. Mm, okay, three things. First would definitely be my noise cancelling headphones. Um, I've been on enough rugby tours and been paired up with enough fours to know that sometimes you just need to put them on with no music or anything but just to to get rid of the snoring <coughs> um secondly um yeah probably some budgie smugglers um hopefully the weather's nice get a bit of a tan on before heading back to texas and third um probably passport so they let me back in the country when we need to come <laughs> back but i mean if, if i forget it and i'm stranded in bermuda that wouldn't be the end of the world see that's not the worst place to be no. <laughs> all right so a few more uh more personal questions so what's your favorite movie my favorite movie is remember the titans um pretty pretty legendary movie quite um quite apt at the moment i guess with everything going on but no great movie I love the soundtrack to that movie. Really yeah. good. Uh, favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Um, probably t two, either House of Cards um, for a sort of drama or The Ranch uh, for a bit more of a comedy country boy that I've sort of became when I was living out in Colorado. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite video game? Uh, probably Call of Duty at the moment. Um, it's been a good way to keep up with some friends all over the world and country and virtually kill some people, which is quite fun. <laughs> uh, favorite book or thing to read? Um, I'm reading a, a good book at the moment, I guess, Seven C uh, The Seven Seas to Success. It's just about um, sort of culture and communicate, like loads of different things that are just going to help like be a good team player, but also if I eventually go into coaching. So um, written by the ex Atlanta Falcons head coach for six or seven years. So it's quite interesting. Very cool. Um, and your favorite music artist? Uh, Luke Combs, uh, country, um, named my puppy after him. So I have to go with that one. <laughs> Aw, very cute. All right, Not Luke so... White, who, who thinks it's named after him. <laughs> my dog's name is Garth. So I named him after Garth Brooks. So country go, yeah. music too. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to get into the this or that question. So you'll just choose one or the other. Um, so greatest golfer of all time, Tiger Woods or Jack Nicholas? Who's Tiger. Tiger Who? for the comeback. Tiger. All right, if you could only play one golf course, which one would it rather be, the St. Andrews or Augusta? I have to say Augusta. Awesome. Um, do you like cats or dogs more? You kind of just gave that one away. <laughs> dogs, yeah. Cats are weird. I I said, as a cat, I can't trust them. Yeah. Cat people too. I'm sorry, cat people, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dog people just seem more friendly. Uh, <laughs> all right. So which Luke Combs song do you like more? Beautiful, Crazy or Hurricane? Hurricane. Can you sing a lyric off of it? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in Bermuda after a few Gilgronies. Okay. Um, all right. When you are texting, do you use the laughing emoji or LOL? Laughing emoji. Funny golf movie. Uh, Caddyshack or Happy Gilmore? Happy Gilmore. Adam Sandler. Uh, margaritas on the beach or beers with the boys? Beers with the boys. <laughs> Uh, okay, if the on the TV show Friends, would you rather be roommates with Joey Tribbiani or Chandler Bing? Joey. How you doing? All right, uh, sushi or Thai? Sushi. And what would you usually order if you're ordering sushi? Uh, all you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, some sort of tuna or salmon or something like that. Something simple, but I love it. Yeah. Um, all right, and then best 10 of all time, Dan Carter from New Zealand or Johnny Wilkinson from England? Johnny, hands down. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Will. Can't wait to see you in Bermuda. Yeah, we'll see you in a couple of days. So it's um, really exciting. Yep. And uh, I look really looking forward to pulling on the Aviators jersey. I promise I won't bring any of my Denver stuff. They look cool. Have you seen them? Have you seen yeah, they look hit? awesome. They look awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. It's going to be a great trip. And, uh, yeah, just can't wait to get down. Awesome. All right, guys. So um, Zach is going to be on tomorrow with Mr. Sean Riley, I believe. So make sure you tune in and watch him. And the next time you will see me will be in Bermuda. So thanks again, Will, and look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Katie.